Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura V and thank you guys so much for watching today. So as you guys can see, I am doing kind of like a bronzy gold inspired look for Thanksgiving. If you guys want to see how to get this look or even just for any day, honestly, I really, really like how my eyes turned out today. And um, if you guys want to see how to get this look, I did go ahead and use the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I really did like this palette. It is new to me. I know a lot of you guys have it already and there's been so many reviews on it. So this isn't a review. I just wanted to go ahead and use it. And today was my first time using it. I really, really enjoyed it. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, go ahead and keep watching and go ahead and hit that like button down below and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and just get into this video. I'm going to be using the Morphe E27 brush and I'm going in with the shade Silk Cream first. I'm going to be using this as my transition color and I'm just going to go ahead and place it on the inner crease of my eye. I'm going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. As you guys can tell, I'm not being too precise with this color because I do want this for my overall transition color. So I'm just going back and forth as much as possible. And um, this is one of my favorite brushes to use. It's a little bit bigger than my M441 brush. So when I want to go ahead and do a little bit more of a blown out look, this is the brush I go with. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going in windshield wiper motions. And I'm going to take that same color on the other lid. And as you guys can see, for some reason, this color, this lid was giving me trouble. I was not able to um, pack on as much. Like I was having to go in with more and more of this color for that part of my eye. I'm not sure why. I went ahead and um, set my eyes with Tarte Shape Tape and um, a little bit of translucent powder as I always do. But for some reason, some of the shades in this palette were giving me a little bit of trouble. You guys will see in the rest of this video. But overall, I do like the look that um, I ended up getting with it. So now I'm going to go in with that shade Creamsicle in the palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and work that into the crease area as well. And kind of place it right on top. And make sure I'm blending that color in nice and even on both sides. And I'm just honestly adding this um, for a little bit of a pop in my transition. And I really, really like this color. I'm probably going to use it for another look. But as you guys can tell, it did go ahead and um, give it a different tone. So now I'm going to go in with that shade Mocha in the palette. And I'm going to go ahead and just take that on the outer corner of my eye and make sure I'm placing most of the pigment down there and then dragging it into the inner crease of my eye. As you guys can tell, this color is blending out really nice. And I'm making sure to try not to go above where we placed the last two shades because I do want those to show through in this eyeshadow look just to show a nice transition within the eyeshadows. And I'm just going ahead and doing windshield wiper motions, you guys. Make sure that you guys are taking your time for blending. For some reason on this eye, it was very, very patchy with all the colors that I used. And then with this eye, everything was blending out perfectly. I'm not sure what was going on, but with the next color that we are going to be using, you guys can really, really tell how patchy the color was and how it wasn't blending out. I'm not sure what was different on what I did, but I went ahead and set my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape and a little bit of translucent powder, so I'm not sure if it was... I don't think it was that. Now I'm going in with my Morphe M433 brush, and I'm going into this color Central Park, and this is where you're going to be able to see how patchy um, these colors were showing up. Um, as you guys can tell, it's more pigmented on this eye, but... The colors aren't blending as well as they are on the other. So right here is where I'm having difficulties because it's grabbing onto that color really and holding onto it on the inner crease of my eye. And it's not allowing me to blend it out for some reason. And I'm just going back and forth to see if I can like get it to kind of drag it out and make sure to blend it out but it's not working for me i am going into my inner corner of my eye with this color because i am going to be creating a halo look so i do want to place some of that color on the inner corner so as you guys can tell on this eye it's not grabbing onto the pigment as much as that other eye is um i'm not sure what was going on with this color but for some reason it was so hard for me to blend it out i even tried going in with another brush and kind of blending that color out without any um without anything on that brush, just an, just the brush that we used in the beginning. 
So as you guys can tell, I'm kind of frustrated. So I'm going to go in with this brush. And it has nothing on the, on the brush. It just has whatever was left from the first shadows that we used. And I'm trying to blend this color out as much as I can. And it's not working for me. Um, I quickly realized that it wasn't working. So I ended up going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. And I'm going to go ahead and create a halo eye. And I'm just taking that on this um, flat shader brush. This is my favorite brush to use for... Um, any kind of cut creases, it makes it so much easier. I do have a lot of folds in my eye, as you guys can tell, so it's a lot harder for me to create a cut crease, but I, those are like my favorite things to um, create on my eye. They just, I just love the way they look. So, you know, I keep trying. So as you guys can tell, I'm just trying to make sure that um, I'm placing an even layer of that concealer down and I'm not placing too much in one spot. And this eye, for some reason, it was a lot easier than the other eye. Like I said, I was having issues with the other eye even grabbing onto stuff. So I'm not sure why that was the issue. I do end up liking the way the whole eye look comes out at the end. But it did give me a very, very hard time. So I'm going to go in with the shade Meeks now. And this shadow actually really, really impressed me. I didn't think it was going to be as bright as it was. And I did go ahead and spray my brush with um, a little bit of Marc Jacobs um, Remarkable Face Mist. But other than that, like, I, I even swatched the color later, like, by itself, and it was very, very nice. Um, I do like to wet my brushes, though, because I don't like a lot of fallout with these glitter shades. So I do that with everything. I don't just go ahead and place it down. So I'm just going ahead and placing this color on my lids. And as you guys can see, this color is really, really beautiful. It's a nice bronzy color. And it's not something that I usually would place on my lids. I like a lot brighter colors, but this one came through really, really nicely. And then I'm going to be going in with the, sh with the shade Central Park again, as you guys can see, because I'm trying to fix how that didn't blend. So I figured if I go in with it more and just kind of try and blend it out, it's, it would fix it. But honestly, the end look is great. Um, as you guys can tell, it's working a little bit, so I'm just going back and forth with the brush and making sure that I blend this color out. And then I realized I wanted a little bit of dimension on the lid, so I went in with the shade Queen next. And with this color, I didn't even spray it, and I just went onto the lid because I realized that the other color, I might have not needed to spray it. So as you guys can tell, th this color is really, really bright. It's creating a nice light through my eyes. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and take the Urban Decay Midnight Hellboy Glitter. And these are some of my favorite glitters. These and the Stila ones are my favorite. I definitely recommend them. And I'm going to go ahead and top my eyes with a little bit of that glitter. And I'm just making sure that I place it right on the middle of the eye to create kind of that nice um, bright effect on the inner, well, on the middle of the eyes. And um, honestly, you guys didn't have to put any glitter on it as you guys can tell it was a very very nice look before without the glitter but I just wanted to give you guys a nice glam look for Thanksgiving so I'm going to go ahead and place the glitter on there I think next time I'll try this look without the glitter and see how it looks and I think it'll look just fine so I'm just going to go ahead and go in with the Pretty Vulgar The Ink Pot. And this is a gel liner. And honestly, um, I'm not that great with working with gel liners. But I really, really like this one. It's easy to use. And especially with the tape um, being a guideline, it's very, very easy. So if you guys um, have trouble with your guys' eyeliner, it's a nice um, kind of quick tip for you guys to use a little bit of tape just to guide you guys. And then it does clean it up really nicely when you do peel off that tape. And I am going to go ahead and go in with my um, regular eyeliner and just darken that up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream in the shade Buttercup and the Ever Matte Poreless Primer. So these two go together really well. Um, and honestly, in the beginning, I'm placing all this um, foundation on my face, but I quickly realized that I forgot with this foundation, you have to work in sections and not really place everything because it does dry down pretty fast. So I should have worked a lot faster than I did with this foundation. It is very, very full coverage. It is very matte, but I do add a lot of glow to my face at the end. But as you guys can see, it is covering so, so much. I used to love this foundation and I kind of stopped using it for a while here um, because I liked more glowy foundations. But honestly, there's 
so many ways that you can glow up this foundation and make it nice and glowy with highlighters or liquid highlighters or whatever it is but this foundation will work all day honestly i can go to sleep with this foundation and wake up with my face looking as perfect as it looks with the foundation put on so as you guys can see right here i realize that it's harder to blend out the foundation and it's holding on to some areas of my face more than it should be and i realized that i used to work in sections with this foundation and i'm especially on my forehead it's hard to drag that color out because it's drying down pretty fast so make sure you guys are working in sections if you do have this foundation or if you do want to purchase this foundation it is a very very beautiful foundation and it lasts all day and especially if you have um acne problems or anything like that this is gonna cover up so so much i used to have really bad skin and um really bad acne so i think that's why i had purchased this foundation because it covered up so much and honestly if you guys can see it is very very beautiful it stays nice and flat um and it's very, very full coverage. So if you guys are looking for anything like that, it's, it's a great um, purchase. And as you guys can see, I'm just trying to blend that color out a little bit more under my eyes, which I shouldn't. So I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm going to use that to go ahead and brighten up my under eyes. I'm just placing as um, a little bit on my under eye area. I'm sure it looks like a lot, but I'm just dragging that concealer out and making sure I'm using it to brighten up that area. Um, I really, really enjoy a nice bright under eye area, so that's why I'm using that for um, under my eyes. And then I'm going ahead and placing it on my chin and on my cupid's bow and the bridge of my nose. Um, those are the places I like to brighten up, and I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through this. So now I'm gonna go in with my Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder, and I received this in one of my Ipsy bags, so I wanted to see how it worked today. But honestly, I really did like this powder. It just wasn't good for um, baking at all. It's more of a setting powder, so that's what I'm gonna use it for in the future. I'm not gonna use it to bake. I am gonna go ahead and just pack this powder into the skin instead of bake with it, if you guys can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away whatever's left over um, with a brush. And just make sure I wipe that away I am um, but I did like this powder I just didn't like I didn't like it for baking now I'm gonna go in with the hula bronzer from benefit cosmetics and this is the Chicathon palette this is the first one that they had came out with it is one of my favorite palettes to use I had to go ahead and put it away because I was using it too much when I first had purchased this so I'm going to go ahead and use the little brush that comes with it and I'm going to go into that powder and as you guys can tell I took a lot of that um, bronzer on my face. I really love this bronzer but I forgot how pigmented it was. I know it doesn't look that pigmented in the pan but it is very very pigmented. But as you guys will see right now I do go ahead and kind of blend that bronzer out as much as I can with... Um, with my brush that I use to wipe away that translucent powder because it is going to dull it down a little bit. Um, but I didn't freak out because I knew I was going to wipe it away. So if you guys just see my bronzer helmet right there, um, <laughs> you guys will see that I blend it away. So I'm going in with the blush from the Benefit Cosmetics Chicathon Palette in the shade Dallas and Coralista. I love to mix all these blushes together and just create a nice look. This does. Um, this is these are one of my favorite blushes honestly um, I used to use them all the time and I just went ahead and pulled this palette out of my um, collection and I'm just going to go ahead and start using it again because it is one of my favorites to use and now I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline translucent powder and I'm just going to go ahead and cut my cheekbones a little bit to create that nice defined look and I'm going back in with that creamsicle shade and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing as I did on the upper lid to my lower lash line. And now I'm taking silk cream and pewter on the bottom of my lash line. And I'm going in pretty fast motion, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did on the top of my lid to my lower lid. Um, just to create a nice blown out look, if you guys can see. I really, really love um, working on the lower lash line. I feel like that creates like the look that uh, brings everything together. And I'm going to go ahead and go back into that shade Mix in the palette. And I'm just going to try and place that right at the um, right at the center of my lower lash line. And 
I am going to be going into this shade and using it as a liner as well because I realized that it was really pretty on the lash line. If you guys can see, it brightens up the inner lash line a lot. I'm not sure how long that lasted, but I really did like how that looked. So I went ahead and just placed it on the middle of the part of my lower lash line. And then I kind of used it as a liner as well. I was really, really impressed with this um, shadow. It worked really well. And honestly, um, it's probably one of my favorite shadows in the palette that I've used so far because I haven't used the whole palette at all. Um, these are the only shades that I've used. But if you guys can see, that created a nice glow underneath the eye. So that's what I'm doing. I'm placing it on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia of Beverly Hills um, Amrezy highlight. This is one of my favorite favorite highlights if you guys can tell I use this for everything I have a ton more highlights this is just my favorite one so I use this for everything and it's just going to give it that nice glow I like a subtle glow I do add a lot as you guys can see but I don't go way overboard I really like to see a nice glow in the face so that's why I'm going to go ahead and I start at my cheekbones because I really like um, when I'm facing someone for them to be able to see that nice glow coming through so I'm just going to place it on my bridge of my nose and also on my chin and my top, my upper lip area. As you guys can tell, my makeup is coming together nicely. This is like where I love to see the process of makeup kind of start to look nice and kind of just come together. So I'm going to go ahead and take that on my brow bone as well and on the other side as well. And I think that's all the highlight I need for now. So I'm going to be going in with my L'Oreal Miss Manga Black Nyore Mascara. This is one of my favorite, um, all-time favorite mascaras, not just from the drugstore, just in general. This is one of my favorite mascaras that I've used so far. It's really, really good to separate those lashes and make sure that it gives it a nice voluminous voluminous look it also does um kind of curl up your lashes um i do like to work in sections sometimes but for today's video i did go ahead and just hurry up and put that mascara on because i did want to go in with my lashes and as you guys can tell lashes make such a difference i did go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit so you guys can see how i'm placing down those lashes and i'm using the tarte shape tape um these are at eyelash applicators and these are great if you guys are having issues with how to apply lashes these are so great to use for um, lash applications these are one of the best um, investments that I've made um, I used to be able to pop them right on with my nails but I haven't had my nails done in so long so I do go ahead and go in with this lash applicator um, just to apply the lashes and it works so fast as you guys can see they popped on really quick I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Amrezy highlighter again, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten it up a little bit because it was looking a little bit dark with that brown eyeshadow there. So I did want to go ahead and brighten the inner corners up a little bit. And I'm going to be taking my Remarkable um, Face Mist from Marc Jacobs, and I'm going to go ahead and set my face because I do want to get rid of whatever powderiness from all the powders that we use today. So I am going to go ahead and spray that. A little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and use my Morphe sponge just to kind of pat that spray in and make sure that it's um, pressed into the face and now I'm gonna go back in with my highlighter and I'm just taking that on my collarbone this is a nice way to kind of brighten up your collarbone to give it a nice highlight um, especially if you're wearing a low collar shirt for like any occasion um, you could definitely go a lot um, more with this with using some um, kind of like the cover effects glitter drops or whatever but I just took a little bit of highlighter um, now I'm going to be going in with this NYX suede lip liner in the shade Los Angeles and this is these are some of my favorite lip liners they glide on your lips very nicely as you guys can tell um, it doesn't budge at all and it doesn't skip on the liner it's very easy to use these are some of my favorite ones um, just because they do last all day so if my lipstick is coming off or getting crusty or whatever my lip liner is always there so I do try and fill in my lips usually with the lip liners because that color is still going to be underneath so um, if you guys are looking or interested in any lip liners, these are really nice and they're very, very um, budget friendly. I think they run about maybe $2 and some change or $3 and some change. I'm not very sure on the price, but I know they're not expensive. 
and I am creating kind of like a little bit of a contour on my lip just to give it that nice plumpy lip effect. And then I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia of Beverly Hills lipstick. And that's going to be in the shade Naked. The Anastasia of Beverly Hills lipsticks are really nice. You just have to have um, a nice light chopstick underneath for them to work well. And this is going to be the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully you guys recreate it as well. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And like I said, I didn't know where I was going with this look, but I went ahead and just created a bronzy gold eye. I feel like this is a perfect look for Thanksgiving or any holiday, like anything coming up that you guys have, any Friendsgiving days, whatever you guys are doing um, for the holiday, I feel like this look is perfect for that. I did go ahead and pair that up with a nude lip and I really really like it it is nice and glowy um, so if you guys do want um, to see more videos on this palette or just any other palettes that you guys have any suggestions go ahead and leave them in the comments down below I would love to hear from you guys anything that you guys would like to see from me and thank you guys so much for watching today I'll catch you guys on the next one make sure to hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and thank you guys so much for being here today I truly appreciate it bye